All right, no crystals. No crystals allowed in here. Week two of me uh, trying to explain my week to the world and then um, crystals doing the same thing. Yada, yada, yada. If you need more details on what I'm doing here in this experiment, uh, go to the first episode um, or week one, if you will. We're only doing four of these. And then after four weeks, we're going to view our videos and see what we uh, saw, uh, what we felt during those weeks, um, the exact same weeks, and then compare notes and see where, you know, where she stands, where I stand, what I saw, what she saw. And Maybe we felt the same things, maybe we didn't. So either way might be a good way of finding out what each other's thinking uh, and uh, whether, you know, you're as close as you think you are or maybe you're you're pretty freaking tight. Either way, you'll never know unless you freaking talk, right? So we figured this would be the best way to kind of start it off and um, see uh if uh we still know each other as well as we did five years ago ten years ago shoot even a year ago right everybody changes all the time so um and the more i do this and the more i talk um through these videos i know this is the only second one right but writing notes down every day um helps um it doesn't just help with like knowing what you did that day but it breaks it down to say like oh shit like i did this Sometimes I'll do stuff for like a month and not realize kind of what I'm doing or what direction I'm going. And then so I have to overcorrect. And I feel like this is keeping me on track on a weekly basis um, and just kind of saying, oh, trying to steer straight so I can accomplish my goals. Crystal can accomplish her goals. Our family can accomplish its goals together. Um, so that's where I'm at. And I'm only on week two. Um, so I can't imagine what week four is going to feel like, uh, especially when we actually watch each other's videos and compare notes and all that stuff. So anyways, like I said, um, if you need the deep dive explanation of how this got started, why we wanted to do this and go back to the first one uh, last week uh, and I explained everything there. So this one, I'm not going to go through every day line by line. Uh, I'm going to just read my notes and then I'm going to tell you kind of how I felt that day or what lesson I learned, if any at all. Um, Saturday, new, weekends are pretty lazy, um, pretty standard around here. And same thing last Saturday. Uh, and when I mean lazy, I mean like we do like a lot of housework or do laundry, stuff like that. We catch up on things, uh, watch TV, have the, you know, TVs on, I'll catch up on artwork, do the little things like that. Right. Uh, so that's what I mean by, by lazy, same old thing, you know, sometimes throwing up, um, cold plunge, um, workout, you know, things like that. So, um, those are all normal lazy weekends that was our saturday uh and pretty much sunday too uh let me see the only thing on sunday is i did get crystal a um new blanket set for our our bed we have a king size bed so it's not as easy to find uh, sheets that fit or even you know that aren't too expensive and so for the christmas um I uh, got her a new bedding set. She loved it, right? And uh, they had, I, my goal was to get two different sets because we've had the same set for the last six months, seven months, whatever. And so I wanted to kind of change it up a little bit and just have options. So when we wash one set, you know, we have another comfy set because one of the things that I noticed was that she loves our bed, especially since we moved to this new place. So she's always loved our bed, obviously, but for the last I don't know, maybe it's this new place, and I really do think it's this new place. Um, she always has said that it's felt even more comfier, uh, especially when I bought that that those first uh, linen set and we had all these pillows and everything else. And so it's kind of reverse. Normally the girls do that stuff, right? Sorry, girls, I'm not trying to insult you all. But normally it's the females that love all the beddings and all this other stuff. And over here, it's like I'm the one getting all the stuff and she's loving it. So, but I love it. I love that she loves it. So anyways, my point is that I was going to get two for Christmas for her. And um, the one that I wanted they didn't have the, they didn't have it in, in king size. So I only ended up getting one. And then I went back um, last, this past week, saw that they had the, the bedding that they want, that I wanted for her. And so I figured I'd get it as a kind of a late additional Christmas gift for her. And uh, she was gone Sunday. Uh, I don't know, she's probably working like always. And uh, me and Easton set it up for her. So when she came home, she got back to some new linens and 
I love making her happy, especially with, with comfort. I know she's a big comfort person. So um, that's one of those, uh, not something I didn't know. I already knew that, uh, but it's good to revisit that because sometimes, like I said, you know something and then so you just store it back here so you don't have to come back to it. And then you just forget about how cool or special that moment is. At least that's how my head works. And so I think doing these weekly videos is helping me realize, oh shit, yeah, don't forget that's her love language, use it. And so this is allowing me to understand that better and use those tools. So again, a lot of the stuff that I'm finding out, it's not stuff that's new to me. It's things that are just, um, uh, I guess, categorizing these items and not just storing them back here. I get overwhelmed and anxious sometimes that I just want to have nothing going on up here except for one or two things and everything else gets thrown back here just so that I can go back and get it later. But what happens is I just, it stays there sometimes and it's like a big old mess, especially every time I shake my head like that, everything is shaken up and it's all jumbly back there. So I forget to go back and get that thing. That's all it is. It's not that I don't know. It's not that I don't care. And so these weekly videos it's a reminder and it digs back into what's important and i'm able to grab those things right without these reminders and without me writing this stuff down i wasn't really remembering you know sometimes i'd go months before i remembered something important about somebody or something that i should be doing or you know things like that you know i'm not gonna get to all the details we all have those moments i'm sure um and so this is i think keeping me a little bit more grounded and more here instead of out there because my mind can go out there as you can see by my little um wall mount blanket whatever you want to call that thing tapestry my little tapestry that's my wild side and that's my other wild side um i think these two things are a great representation of me of like i think uh, like my love language is the mind and body it really is like having a great conversation, a crazy wild conversation, just going on and on and on and talking about nonsense and having a good time, just losing yourself with somebody like that's, um, you know, and that's me and Crystal, you know, and then obviously like our bodies, because, you know, we got to be attracted to each other. You know, those two things go hand in hand. And this is a very good reminder of like who we really are. You know, we take the time to take care of our minds and and our bodies, you know, at least we're trying, we're trying, <laughs> we're trying to you know, stay healthy and get better and all that stuff. And still the sexuality, you know, that's got to fucking be there forever. I don't care what people say, the jokes about the older you get, the less sex you have and all those things that that's, you got to keep, it's like anything else. You got to keep trying. Cause if that was important to you back then, which it is to 95%, 99% of humans here, it's important. It's important. Let's not Let's not kid ourselves, right? And let's not fall into the old um, adage that, you know, the older you get, the less sex you have and the, the grumpier the, the guy gets or, or the, the wife gets, you know, she's unbearable. And by the time you're like, you know, in your 70s, if you're still together and still alive, um, it's just a matter of just, you're literally just breathing. And I'm like, that's horrible. Then at that point, just kill me at 50, right? So anyways, I don't believe in that. So this exercise again leading back to this is what my this is kind of my takeaway from all this is to continue healing my my mind my crazy wild mind and my body you know and hopefully i have a nice ass like that that's crystal's butt by the way that's a picture i took of her about three months ago so yeah just kind of put it up into uh made it into a tapestry up there and you know just a reminder what i got all right sorry i digress so same thing. So that was our Sunday, uh, kind of finished laundry, did a bunch of stuff, you know, Monday, regular day, work, school, you know, took Easton to school. I love taking Easton to school. Another reminder, like that's kind of my, my thing now it's become this. Hopefully I get to do it again. I know, you know, with jobs and stuff like that, you just never know how things are going to go for now. That's our schedules and that's how they work out. So it's great. And I love it. Um, Crystal's been wanting to watch. I know last week I talked about her movie obsessions and just kind of wanting to watch like Every single, if like there's 10 movies, she wants to watch all of those as soon as possible, back to back to back to back to back, right? She is, she, she's a, she dives uh, deep into the sequels and, and, and all those long uh, movies. So, um, again, now she wants to do American Horror Story, which I don't know, there's like 19 seasons. I'm just throwing them out. There's a ton of seasons of that, so, which are great, by the way. I love those. I and mean, we've watched a few of those seasons before, but she wants to start them all over from season one and, you know, do 
what Crystal does, just get obsessed and watch it. And I'm all down with that. The only thing is that they're not very friendly friendly, but they're they're good for this part of our brain. So if we can't watch it on the living room, you know, maybe wait till Easton goes to bed. Maybe we make it our show for the end of the night while we're in bed. We can watch that show. We can hang out. And um come on, man. People be calling me. Um so anyway, so I think that's a good idea. One, I like horror stories, movies, she does too. It's very sexual. Uh, very sexual. I don't know if you guys have watched those shows. But so anyways, so I think it's a good idea. We can kill two stones with one bird. We can kill two birds with one stone. All right, Tuesday, same thing. School, uh, work, picked up Gabby, hung out with her, watched TV, cold plunged. Um, super cold. This That that day, I've, I remember that was the coldest it's ever been. It was like 42 degrees. That was a real good test. That was a good one. Uh, just a good reminder of like, keep going. Um, and you know, I just, I'm addicted to that. Um, cold plunging, trying to stay healthy, working out. So Easton school, Wednesday, same thing, work. Um, you know, Easton went swimming at night. We worked out. Crystal's still recovering. So she's just doing, we've been doing uh, 20 minute walks on the treadmill. Well, she walks the whole time and I'll do 20 minutes on that. And then I'll try to do 15, 20 minutes in the sauna. Stuff like that. So that's kind of our schedule. That's cool. It's an adaptation. Can't wait to get back to our regular workouts, though. So I miss those. Uh, Thursday, same thing. Easton work, well, school, I work, pick up Gabby. Oh, uh, well, watch the new Pete Davidson uh, uh, comedy special with her. Uh, I think I watched it with Crystal, too, uh, a few days before that. Uh, that was a cool one, fun one. Um, liked spending those times with uh, with Gabby when I pick her up after school, you know, so... Since I don't have her all the time, you know, those are all fun moments. So I try to make the most out of those moments. That's one thing I'm learning to do is just get the most out of the small time you have instead of regretting not having more time because, you know, things are what they are. So that's one good thing, you know, so I, I love those moments too. I love those after school moments with Gabby and the, the you know, alone time we get at least. It's, it's special. So it's cool. It's fun. Um... See, uh, I did my open mic night. It was my fourth one uh, that Thursday night. So that was fun. That was cool. It was the first time that I did it without any notes or my phone up there or anything else. Got to record it. So that was a good moment for me, a good little win. Uh, Crystal, uh, Kiana, Easton, and Journey, and little friends of ours went to Zoo Lights. That was cool. I like it. They have fun. They do their own thing, you know, and I was able to concentrate on on, on my, my open mic uh, <laughs> material. And I did well. So, you know, find the positive in everything as much as I, I miss them and I wish I could be there with them. You know, I have to realize I have to pick and, and choose my my moments, my times, the things that I really want to do and the things that, you know, I can replace with, with other things that are going to be beneficial or more beneficial to me or to our family. So I guess just realizing those things is, has been a, um, a big eye opener, you know realizing like you don't have to go or say yes to everything uh easton on friday picked you know took easton to school gabby uh didn't go to school on friday so i got to pick her up early and uh hung out with her so that was again some more you know time she came out this weekend uh hung out with us oh i just watched tv again just another lazy day worked you know did our stuff watched some more TV, Tacoma Fire Department. Watch Super Troopers with Gabby because she's so into Tacoma Fire Department and it's the same guys from Super Troopers. Introduced her to that. She didn't like that as much, so go figure. But uh, at least I gave it a try. So anyways, that's pretty much it for for, for me. I, um, I'm i continuing to, to grow. Like I said, let me see. Um, yeah, I, I love um, surprising Crystal. I like it when she's... <clears throat> um, comfortable you know when she's in her her zone and she can do her thing and not have to worry about these other things you know it's just a matter of how I get there and how I do those things and keeping track of the things that she she likes staying ahead of that and um that's you know that's that's a good thing I think we're heading in the right direction so I don't know what she sees I don't know what she does uh um so we'll, we'll I'm very curious I'm actually getting very very itchy um, on to see her videos and what she says and thinks about our weeks. So, all right, guys, take care. Um, talk to you next week.